Hi everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm super excited to share with you all the improvements that we've made to how we integrate Figma and Jira, which will help make collaboration smoother between designers and their software teams. Now, we know that modern software teams are multidisciplinary. They aren't just made up of engineers and project managers. They're increasingly including other key disciplines, such as design. And we've learned from speaking to our customers that even when design is embedded in a team, the design handover can still be challenging. It's hard for developers and designers to stay across each other's work, and things can be easily missed. By giving better visibility into design work and notifying when there are changes, we can help teams stay in sync and deliver work with less delays. Teams also thrive when they're empowered to stay focused and stay in their creative zones. So to reduce context switching for both designers and developers, we've partnered closely with Figma to create a two-way sync that can be used to link designs from either Jira or Figma. Engineers can see updates from Jira and designers can make changes from Figma. Everyone's happy. And there's actually already an app available today on the Atlassian marketplace called Figma for Jira, which is made by Figma themselves. It lets you link designs to an issue, but we've added some great new improvements that are coming later this year. Let's take a look. So after you've installed the app from the marketplace and you come into your Jira issue, you'll start to see this new add design button. When you click on it, it gives you a field for entering a design field to link. So you paste in a URL for your design. Now it's best to link directly to a frame um, and that way the frame that you want to highlight gets showcased prominently on the issue. So paste in the URL and click link. And this is where the exciting stuff starts. So later this year, we're adding in improvements that will help increase visibility to designs within Jira. You'll get this nice larger preview and you can see it even bigger by clicking expand in Jira. From here, you can zoom in further, you can pan around and you can also go to inspect it directly in Figma. When I click through here, it takes me to dev mode, which is the new view in Figma which is designed to make a clean, easy inspection view for a better navigation of designs. Now, once a design is linked, if someone goes and edits that design in Figma, the next time you go back to Jira, you'll see this new design updated flag. It lets you know that there's something new to review so that you don't miss changes and have to go back and do unnecessary rework later on. Now, in addition to the features we just showed, we want to share some exciting previews on our roadmap that will be available shortly after our next updates that are becoming available later this year. So coming soon, we are planning to add in the ability to search for issues that have designs linked to them. So um, this is using Jira query language, otherwise known as JQL. If I want to search for, say, all the issues that have designs linked to them where the design has been updated since they were last viewed, I can do that from Jira. We're also going to allow automations based on linked designs. So if you want to automatically transition an issue from, say, in design to ready for dev based on the new Figma ready for dev status, you can do that as well. Now, for designers who want to stay in Figma, they can also create and link issues from within Figma itself using either the uh, Jira widget or the Jira plugin in Figma's uh, design mode, uh, sorry, dev mode, uh, which I'm in here at the moment. So you'll go into the Jira plugin and you can either create or link issues. So to create an issue, I've got my frame selected that I want to link. I give it a summary name. Oops, spelling mistake. And I click create. And what's going to happen now is it creates a link um, between this design and it's created a brand new issue in my Jira project and link them together. 
And if I click through to that issue in Jira, that design shows up automatically. Now, alternatively, I can link it to an existing issue. Uh, so I'm just gonna clear that one, uh, reselect this frame and click link issue. And then I'm going to grab my issue key and paste it in. And click link. And again, it's um, creating a link between this frame and that issue. Um, and similarly, uh, the design shows up, shows up straight away in Jira. So our team is committed to continuing to invest in improving the design workflows in Jira software so that multidisciplinary teams can spend less time context switching and more time doing the work that they love in their flow states and their tools of choice. So you can go and install that Figma for Jira app today and get started. And when the updates come out, they'll automatically get applied to your site. Um, if you're interested in being one of the first people to try out these new features, we're going to start up a beta program really soon. So click the link in this webinar and submit your details and we can add you to the beta program. Super excited for all of this. I hope you are as well. Thanks for your time. Um, that's all for me. Back to you, Andrew.